Hey, this is Jean-Marc here coming to you from Quarantine HQ. Yes, sir. -y. And we're talking today about nine plus top sales lead generation tools that work in B2B in a post COVID-19 world. Now, excuse me, while looking for sales lead generation tools that effectively work for B2B in a more uncertain post COVID-19 world, you might stumble on things that sound good for you, but just don't work for the current world in which we live. Here, we'll explore B2B sales lead generation tools I found work well today. So first off, what's lead generation software all about? It's a fancy term, but it really just helps you to do three things. It helps you to start conversations with potential buyers. It helps you to track conversations with potential buyers and allows you to capture contact information of potential buyers. Very simple, but a lot of times in tech, we like to use fancy words to talk about very simple concepts. But let's talk about some of the sales lead generation tools that we have out there. They're going to be three different kinds. First off, there's sales lead generation software. That's gonna do those three things I talked to you about, right? Starting conversations with potential buyers, tracking conversations with potential buyers, and allowing you to capture that contact information of potential buyers. Next is gonna be sales lead generation generators, rather. These folks are going to try to help you to get past the work of lead generation. Sounds like a good idea, but we'll talk about it later why it's not always the best thing. Next, there are free lead generation tools. These ones are not as complex, but hey, depending on the work you do, it might just be up your alley. So when it comes to sales lead generation software, first recommendation is Drift. As you can see on the site, I have a Drift chatbot. It's very helpful. It helps you get past all of the mess of forms that can get tricky to track and sometimes people will abandon. It works 24 seven, which helps you capture leads at any time. Heck, I had one guy try to reach out to me at 12 a.m. on a Saturday morning. You best believe I was not going to get on the horn at that time, but he was able to set up a sales meeting at the time because of the chat bot. So the pros of this tool is that it's going to be intuitive to use, has a nice drag and drop display. Now, some of the cons, the cost can be prohibitive. It can easily start costing around $400 a month just to get a chapa up and running. And a lot of times people will invest in a chapa over a year because sometimes it takes time to get used to using the chatbot instead of form and all sort of stuff that you have to figure out. So you don't see your ROI right away necessarily. Sometimes it takes a number of months. So that is a con, but know that with Drift, the big thing that you want to do is you want to disqualify leads. You want people that do not fit your perfect buyer persona to not be able to get in touch with you. Because the worst thing is someone who gets on your calendar and they're not a good fit for your team, but you take the meeting anyway, you know what I mean? Those aren't good meetings, so let's avoid those. Next up, LinkedIn Sales Navigator. We talk a lot about that. We know that it's essentially a CRM for LinkedIn and the costs of LinkedIn Sales Navigator can be a bit annoying sometimes for people that are still working on getting the ROI. Another con is mass communication is difficult with LinkedIn. They don't like you reaching out to a whole bunch of people at once. So they make it difficult to use. That's why people have tried to use third-party software, which I do not recommend. Instead, you can use this as a time to invest in one-on-one -on -one conversations and personalized video. Lead Feeder. Lead Feeder, what's it going to do? It is going to create a list of people, of potential companies rather that come to your site. And it also connects to LinkedIn to where you can see a search result of the potential people that might have come to your site from that company. So it's gonna say, hey, if you have a second connection at this company and this company went to your page, then hey, this must be the person. That sounds great, but here's the con. How actionable is the information? Okay, someone from Apple in Silicon Valley reached out to me or went to my site. What does that do for me? What am I supposed to go 
from there? So that's the question that we still need answering for. Next up is Hunter. Hunter is a great email finding software tool. And it allows you really to draw emails from, from most sites. It's going to be the most effective of the email finding tools. The cons of the tool are just going to be any cons you have with cold email marketing. You are going to have to also invest in using email verification tools, as we all do, in order to make sure you get the most email sent to the right people and you're not wasting your precious time or money sending emails to bad addresses. No one can give you 100% accuracy when it comes to emails, so that's a pretty darn good way to do it though. Hunter is definitely the best in the email game, and I really recommend it if you're doing small batch emails, definitely a great tool. Next up, Yam. That is yet another mail merge. It works great for Gmail, and I highly recommend it because it works great with Gmail. And that might not seem important at first glance, but remember that when you're doing cold email marketing, you're trying to reach people, that you have this issue with something called a sending domain. And it really just means, hey, your email client, the, the email client for the people you're sending stuff to, wants to be able to know that you are legit, that you are not just a spammer. And it, when it does not recognize you as a safe site, it doesn't want to let your emails into people's inboxes. Amazing. Even email clients don't like receiving email from people they don't know. Right? So that is a great reason why uh, to use Yam because you can use your own personal Gmail instead of using a different domain. And the cost is pretty low and they charge per year, which is pretty sweet. Next up is Capsumo. We've talked about this one before. What makes it powerful is what's in this picture. They can do a no button lead capture form. And the reason they could do that is because they specialize in sending leads to you that have not completed forms. So if people enter the information but they don't hit submit or send, they can still receive your marketing campaigns. So that's what makes Capsumo a powerful tool. Next up, let's talk about sales lead generators, those lists I talk about. Depending on how much emails and contact information you need from a sales lead generator, you are going to pay anywhere between $100 and $1,000. Really, you should probably aim towards the latter part of, of that pricing structure, $1,000, if you want to get the biggest bang for your buck, because cold email is a game of numbers. It gets historically low engagement because, again, people don't know who the heck you are. So because of that, you want to make sure if you're going to play this game that you – Play it to win. I'd recommend at least 5,000 emails to get started, to get some kind of ROI. I've spent less and gotten less and been highly disappointed. Anyhow, let's talk about some of these sales lead generators and the leads that they're going to provide to you. First up, we have Info USA. Info USA here, check it out, folks. Then we have Exact Data. Exact Data has pretty good pricing out of every one of, of the ones I have listed here. I'd recommend them as far as pricing goes. But then we have Zoom Info. Zoom Info, I believe that their main sticking point is just how accurate their information is. And they are powered by Discover Org, which is the top B2B sales data firm in the world, I do believe. So they're going to have top-notch information. The thing about Zoom Info, though, is that if you're looking to do a small email send, don't bother with them. They want to start off around 7,000 emails, as far as I gathered from the sales professional I worked with. After that, let's talk about a few lead generation tools that are actually free, because, yes, you can do something for free <laughs> with lead generation. First up is MailChimp. It's going to be a mail provider that allows you to do up to 2,000 contacts for free. Next up is our good old friend LinkedIn. We know all about that. We talk about it, but it's a great tool to generate those sales leads. 
And let's talk about HubSpot. HubSpot, I've been using HubSpot for free for uh, some time now. It's a CRM or customer relationship management system that allows you to go ahead and track those leads and tag those folks for later conversation. And HubSpot has grown to include this whole automation suite, which includes things like chatbots, automated emails, document, document storage, and videos. And you know what? They start for free, so I recommend the tool. I easily say you could start off a small to mid-sized sales team without even paying for the service. So why not give HubSpot a try? Now, let's talk about a few questions you may have. Automated lead generation software. Does it happen? I have not heard of this happening outside of the story I once heard from a buddy, but was never able, able to verify it. So I'd say even if you could figure out a way to auto-generate your leads, the quality of those leads is going to be dubious. So be careful with that. Next, should you buy leads? Generally, no. If you cannot verify a few things on which sales depend, such as familiarity, authority of the sales lead, buy-in from their particular teammates, specific needs that they have, and the ability to know their buying window, hey, it's, it's very hard to say how helpful the lead will be to you. And last up, let's talk about if sales lead generation companies are worth it. Because in the past, I have owned one. And here is the thing. I find that it's less about the sales lead generation company and more about the people that are asking for the leads. You have to be honest about your resources and where you are. So some things that you want to be aware of that can make or break your sales lead generation company's ability to help you are the actual amount of time you have to devote to sales, it matters. Your current service time commitments, your availability to take meetings, your ability to get sales help, your ability to follow up people after sales meetings, a clear understanding of your sales process, a clear understanding of what lead qualification looks like for you, and your ability to clearly express your concerns. Hey, look at it, folks. People that run sales lead generation companies generally want you to succeed. So help them in understanding your resources and helping them understand your processes. What looks like a good lead to you? Why don't we just share that up front so that folks can know, hey, this is what a good lead is and let's get more of those. Because what generally happens is people want to get vague at the beginning and then later on, they won't say, oh, well, I want more specificity, and you guys are delivering me junk. Hey, let's just be upfront with what we want, and it'll help all of us work a whole lot better. Now, remember that all of these sales lead generation tools sound great, but it's not the tool that makes you. It's like what I learned from a photographer back in the day. Technology is just a tool. It's more about what someone does with the tool than the tool itself. So remember, your sales are really going to hinge upon you understanding the details of your sales process, how aligned that is with your buyer's journey, and how well you understand your buyer. And that you do the three basics, which is start conversations with new buyers, track those conversations, and capture the contact information of those buyers. All right? Now, all the best to your success. And this has been Jean-Marc talking about nine plus top sales lead generation tools for B2B that still work in this uncertain world in which we find ourselves in. All right, stay safe, all the best, and I'll talk to you later.